Good morning, everyone. My name is Melissa Wick, and welcome to day 25 of 30 Days of Morning Yoga. This morning's practice is a detox yoga class, so we will be inviting in some twists to stimulate the blood flow, the digestive system, to massage and decompress and compress the internal organs. This practice is still quite well-rounded. We'll, we'll wake up the obliques to support ourselves for our twists. We'll end this class in a beautiful shavasana to receive the effects, to feel our aura and to feel the purity and the clarity that we've cultivated throughout the class. So this is for all levels, as is the, this journey. If you're on the journey with me, welcome back. I'm truly grateful to be here with you. And if you're here just for this one class and you want to learn more about the journey, head over to day zero. So there are no props needed in this class. Of course, you can always have your blocks close by. Get into something comfortable, something that you can move in. And let's get this practice started. Let's begin this morning's practice on our backs. Lay yourself down and either start with your legs straight out in Shavasana or bend the knees, have the feet wide and knees fall into touch. Hands could be on the belly or by the side, palms up. Adjust and get comfortable. Closing your eyes, allowing us to go inward and let us invite in two deep cleansing breaths to fully arrive here together. Big inhale through the nose, let yourself fill up. And an exhale out of the mouth, release. All the stale air out. And then one more time, fully inhale. Exhale, let it go. Closing the mouth. And just start to shift your awareness to your breathing. In and out through both nostrils. Inviting in a natural, smooth rhythm of breath. Letting ourselves fully arrive here on our mats and into our bodies and into our breath. Just feeling your belly softly rise and softly fall as you breathe in and out. Couple more cycles of breath. Good, and then wherever your legs are, bring them in towards the chest and wrap your hands around your shins. You can be still or you can gently give yourself a little rock or sway from side to side. And we'll extend the legs out long onto the mat and we'll cross the left ankle over the right. Your right hand will come behind the back of the head, resting the head in the hand, and then left palm will stay down onto the ground. Right elbow is nice and wide. Inhale here to prepare. As you exhale, we're going to turn on the obliques. We'll start to bring that right shoulder towards the center as if you're lifting towards the left. So try to keep the elbow wide so you're not crunching. And then you lower back down. As you exhale, right shoulder comes toward the center. It's like you're aiming towards the top left corner of the mat, back down. So you can stay like this, one breath per movement. If you want a little more, you can come with me and interlace the hands and have the pointer fingers out, wrapping one thumb over the other, arms reach up belly pulls in. On the exhale, you'll start to lift on an angle on the left side here. 
Lift, lift, lift. You'll feel your obliques turn on all the way up nice and slow. It's like you're reaching forward. And then you slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Keep pulling the belly in and stay on the angle on the left. Arm reaches back up. Exhale. You feel the obliques starting to wake up. Maybe you shake a little bit. So you're just feeling this compression and decompression in the organs, awakening the core, the obliques. So you could stay with the arms interlaced and continue like this, or stick with the first variation. Trying not to use momentum, rather feel your inner power, your inner strength. At the same time, you're inviting in this sense of ease. One more, wherever you are. Good, and then we'll switch sides. So you'll cross the right ankle over the left, and maybe here you start with a couple with the first stage, left hand behind the back of the head, elbow wide, right palm down. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you are lifting the left shoulder towards the center, over on the right here, and back down. As you exhale, there's a crunch reaching towards the top right corner. And then maybe you want to bring the hands and interlace, fingers, pointer fingers out. Staying on an angle as you rise to the right, on an angle as you lower down. On the exhale is when you lift. Good, feeling the whole way through. Two more wherever you are. Good, release. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. And we'll come to meet on all fours in tabletop. So either rolling over to one side or rock and roll. And we'll meet with the hands underneath the shoulders knees under the hips. Now you can come into traditional cat-cow forward and back, or you could start to invite a more circular motion. So letting your hips go to one side, shoulders move, maybe the head moves. There's no right or wrong. This one, again, it could be scraping the insides of a peanut butter jar or whatever you like in a jar. Making the expression as big or as small as you'd like. Opening up the body. And then change direction another way. Maybe you close your eyes. Finishing off your last circle, back to center. Extend your right leg behind you. Toes are tucked under. Give yourself a little rock forward and back. And then slide the right leg all the way over to the left. Peek over your left shoulder. Enjoy that nice lateral stretch here in the right side body. Back to center. Place that right knee down. Left foot extends back. Tuck toes under. Forward and back. And then slide the left leg all the way over to the right. Peek over your right shoulder. Elongate and bow the left side. Okay. 
back to center. So wrists under the shoulders. Notice if you're just dumping here, you want to gently push the floor away. Belly pulls in. Stabilize your spine and your hips. Left hand's going to stay down. Right hand will come behind the back of the head. As you inhale, we're going to open up in the shoulders here, in the back, inviting in a bit of a twist. So you want to open up and rotate from the shoulder out to the right. Then as you exhale, it's as if your right elbow is coming behind the left tricep. So you inhale, you open, steady the hips, and exhale back to center. And we'll do this three more times. So nice and controlled inhale. You feel your back body start to light up. Inhale, open. And the movement doesn't need to be huge. You'll know, you'll feel it in the back body and the shoulder. One more. Open. Exhale, center. And then just do a simple switch. So again, readjust. Notice if you've collapsed in the shoulders, belly pulls in, left hand behind the back of the head. Inhale, you open. Steady the hips. Exhale, left elbow under the right tricep. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Three more, inhale. Exhale, center. Two. And one. Center. Release the hand down. Maybe a cat cow to cleanse. Inhale, open up. On the exhale, tuck the toes under, lift your knees, push up and back, downward facing dog. So you can pedal it out here if you'd like. Bend one knee, bend the other, and really press down through all 10 knuckles with your hands. Sit bones are reaching up and back, wrap the upper arms around and in. Release any excess tension in the neck. Firm the outer, outer thighs and the outer ankles. Tune into your breath. On your inhale, you're going to sweep that right leg up. Hips stay level, belly pulls in. Exhale, you step your right foot through. Between the hands, left knee can come down. Arms can reach up, thumbs back, pinkies forward. Drop that right hip down, soften the shoulders. Low belly zips in. Let's bring our palms to touch in prayer position. Start to bring the chest forward. And then as you twist from the navel over to the right, hook the left tricep to the outside of the right thigh. Palms press into one another to find more opening in the collarbones. Keep dropping the right hip down. Right heel magnetizes toward the left knee, left knee towards the right heel. Stay here or tuck the left toes under and power up your back leg. Make sure you could still breathe easily here. Maybe your eyes are fixed on one point. Back of the neck long. Good. Just feeling this rinse and detox. Now we're going to open up into warrior two. So nice and controlled. Cartwheel the arms open. Nice wide stance. Tuck your right glute under. Right knee in line with second and third toe. Low belly zips in. Keep the legs how they are. Flip your right palm. Reverse your warrior. Peaceful warrior. Soften the shoulders. Come back to warrior two and extend that right leg and turn the toes to face the left edge of your mat. Hands on the waist, inhale nice and tall, lengthen the spine as you exhale. Hips go back, lead with your heart. Wide-legged forward fold, hands come down. You can always bend the knees if the hamstrings feel a little tight. So let's keep the left hand down and the right arm's gonna open up for a twist. So try to keep the hips stable so they're not totally winging off to the right. You can always bend the right elbow if it feels a little restricted to twist with the right arm extended. So you're going to feel integrity in the legs supporting you. Lengthening the spine, belly in, twisting from the abdomen. Smooth breaths. Good, and then release. Right hand down. Left arm opens up. 
You can always bend the elbow again if you like that variation. So this way we're not totally uh, twisting from the shoulders and the neck. We're really initiating the twist from the abdomen. One breath at a time, stimulating the organs. And then release. We're going to bring the hands onto the waist. Feel the power of your legs. We're going to inhale with a flat back. So breathe in, chest open, shoulders back, strong legs as you rise. And then exhale, we'll step forward to the top of the mat. Feet hip width distance. Inhale, arms sweep up nice and tall. As you exhale, lead with the heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders back, belly in, chin in, long spine. Exhale, plant your palms and step back to downward facing dog. Readjust here in your downward dog. Steady your gaze on one point. That'll help to steady your mind and your breath. Good, let's sweep the left leg up three, like a dog, nice and smooth and controlled. As you exhale, step the left foot through, between the hands, right knee comes down, low lunge. Thumbs back, pinkies forward. Zip the low belly in, drop that left hip down. And let's prepare for our twist. So palms touch, torso comes forward. As you exhale, twist from the abdomen over to the left, hook the right tricep to the outside of the left thigh. Make sure that left knee is facing in line with the toes. Push into the palms, find more opening in the chest. The pressure in the palms will help. And then focus your eyes on one point. Maybe you tuck the toes, back toes under and power up the back leg. Nice, steady, smooth breath. Magnetize the inner thighs toward one another for more stability. Invite in that sense of ease. With lots of control and care, you're gonna open up into warrior two. So back leg strong, left knee in line with second and third toe. Tail lengthens down, zip up low belly. A beautiful grounding shape. Reverse your warrior. Legs stay the same, left arm reaches up and back, softening the shoulders. Breathe into the left side. And then release. Extend the left leg, lower the arms down. And we're just going to step the right foot forward beside the left feet, hip width distance. Inhale, arms are going to sweep up. This time we're going to exhale. Bring the hands behind us, interlace the fingers, bend the knees. Loop the shoulders onto the back, extend the elbows. Big breath in to prepare. As you exhale, lead with your heart. And we'll find a fold. So chin in, relax the back of your neck. Breathing into your belly. Arms fall as far forward as it feels okay for you. Knees can stay really bent, or you can lengthen them, whatever feels better. Notice if your weight is way back in the heels. Can you trust to maybe lean forward and back and then find that even distribution in the support of your feet? With lots of care, release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, smooth breath in. And exhale, forward fold. This time here, we're going to heel toe the feet nice and wide, heels in, toes out. Malasana, yogi squat. Always have the option to sit on a block or a prop. Palms together and triceps to the insides of the thighs. Notice if you're caving on the inner arches of the feet. Again, find that nice even weight, softening the shoulders. Proud open chest, perhaps close the eyes. Just go inward here. Give yourself a few deep grounding breaths.
Good. Gently open the eyes. Release your hands down. Lift your hips up. Heel toe your feet back under your hip bones. And we're just going to lift the heels, bend the knees. And maybe here you try to sit down without using your hands, but of course you could always use your hands. And then we'll slowly roll down. So feet stay planted down. Make sure there's space behind you. Pulling the belly in. See if we can get the low back to touch the ground first. You can always hold on to your tights if you need. All the way down. And let's prepare for a bridge. So feet hip width distance, heels close to your glutes. We're gonna press the feet down into the earth, gently engage the glutes, and then lift the hips up. Weight is even on both sides of the legs, so one leg is not dominating over the other. Palms can stay down for support or interlace the hands, walk the shoulders under, press the arms into the ground. Imagine there's a gentle beach ball between the legs so the knees aren't opening out to the sides. Relax your toes. The tailbone's lengthening towards the knees. Soft breath. Maybe lift your hips higher for the last cycle of breath. And then we'll slowly roll down, releasing your shoulders and your hands. Upper back, mid back, lower back. Release your glutes. Give yourself a moment to feel. And let's invite in happy baby. So knees in towards the chest, feet flexed, arms on the inside. And then either grab your calves or your ankles, or the outer edges of the feet, or maybe peace fingers and thumb wrap around the big toe. So you wanna to try to relax the hips down, but without feeling any strain in the lower back. Ankles in line with the knees, relax the shoulders, back of the neck long. You can be still, or you can invite in a rock and a sway. You can make this your own. Beautiful. Let's release. Give yourself a nice final hug here. You can stay with the chest down or maybe lift, coming into a nice tiny seed. Acknowledge your efforts. And when you're ready, coming into Shavasana. Extend the legs out long. Take up as much space as you'd like, as you want, as you need. Adjust, maybe give your hips a little wiggle, maybe a lift in the chest, slide the shoulders under, palms up. Releasing any control or effort of your breath. Closing your eyes. Feeling this sense of release. Letting go of any stagnant energy Letting go of whatever is no longer of service to you. Whether that be a feeling or an experience or a thought or an emotion. And you feel that release through the vehicle of the exhale. Allowing yourself to cleanse. And just feel into your aura, your energy field, purified and clear. Inviting in this sense of harmony and balance.
And perhaps here you'd like to set an intention for the rest of your day. What is your intention? On your next exhale, allow that intention to radiate throughout your entire being and beyond. And I thank you so much for your trust, for being on this journey with me and for sharing your practice. From my heart to yours, namaste. Hi yogis, if you're looking to add on a meditation practice to your yoga journey or just to your yoga practice in general, you can select from one of these short but potent meditation practices. You can pick one to suit your needs. You can try the same one for the whole 30 days or try different ones depending on what you need in the moment. The meditation practice will help to deepen your yoga practice and it'll help to deepen your connection with yourself, strengthen your awareness, and learn some tools on how to self-regulate and to find that place of ease and calm within you on and off the mat. Namaste.